crazy bastards, you're back here with Rob Kimball on the Sons of Wrestling for an early TNA Impact Wrestling review. Now, the intro was great. Kurt Angle introduces Taz, and Taz puts over New York City. And uh, then you have New York, Bully Ray and Tommy Dreamer in New York City. It's a hands-down win, and um, good stuff. We do end up getting EC3 and Rhino with Rockstar Spud coming down for distraction. Easy roll-up heel pin. That's just the way it goes. It's okay, guys, because... You know there's going to be more coming from Bully because he has a promise that he's going to keep it. So, cannot wait for that. What do you guys think? Is that going to happen tonight? Will Tom, Will Bully Ray hit Dixie Carter through a table? Get the tables. Let me know. And, uh, well, just finishing up this X Division match. Holy shit, great stuff. When DJ Z and Manic were in there, too bad they got eliminated so quick. It was excellent stuff. And then, um, in the end here, you have... Sonata and Austin Aries facing off in some great work, both of them. Just some great pin attempts and some moves, just awesome shit. And in the end, you end up with Aries hit the Brain Buster to Sonata for the victory, retaining his X Division Championship. And uh, just really good. And Austin Aries looked very comfortable in the six sides. What do you guys think? All those tweets that he had saying that he didn't want the six sides, this and, this and that. He looked very fucking comfortable in there, and I think he enjoyed being in more space. And I really like the six sides, more space in the ring, and you have more space outside of the ring. As you notice, his suicide dive up through the corner, there was just more room for him to hit that, and it looked great. So what do you guys think of that suicide dive from Austin Aries? Fuck yeah, awesome stuff. So guys, oh, that is, I've, I can't wait. Um, I, damn commercial right now so I had to do something so I did this little vid for you guys and uh, well keep following along and comment below what do you guys think six sides Dixie Carter going through a table what's gonna happen with Sonata as I just seen James Thorne beat about beat him down calling him a loser and him and Great Mood are a fraud and uh, he's getting in his head and it looks like James Storm's gonna take him under his wing eventually because he's just gonna have that control over him on who he can trust this and that Sonata's just gonna snap on the Great Mooder or something so can't wait comment below guys hit the thumbs up for spoiler free tna news and i will catch you guys throughout the night peace